Rexy City News family. So check it out, Rexy City News family. We taking it back. We going back. We backtracking the date. We taking it back to 2013. And at this time, y'all know the Trap Boys were popping. Y'all know the Block Boys were popping. Y'all know Dumbway was popping. This guy here goes by the name of Chelsea Trey Broadway, a.k.a. Trey B. And guys, Trey B was straight out there ratchet, Shreveport, Louisiana. And yes, Trey B was part of the Trap Boys. Now we know you guys are probably like, damn, why are they always talking about the Trap Boys? Guys, the Trap Boys have a lot of explaining to do. Not just this episode. Guys, you're going to see them a lot more on Ratchet City News. So as you guys know, that is Trey B to the far right. So guys, on March 2nd, Trey B had just finished his shift at the McDonald's on Greenwood Road. And of course, it was a Saturday night, and friends were hitting him up saying, Hey, yo, Trey, let's go hit this kickback in Cedar Grove. And of course, guys, Trey B was 18 years old, young guy, so of course, he's going to go kick it. So guys, the kickback will continue and continue to get promoted on Facebook. Now guys, the Trap Boys and the Block Boys had very small and minor situations occur before this big incident that happened. So guys, with that being said, the kickback was getting promoted on Facebook, and the Block Boys did not like the Trap Boys, so guys, anyway, a shooting would occur. A shooting that left one person dead and three others injured. The shooting occurred in the 7,000 block of Burlingame Boulevard in the Cedar Grove neighborhood. Ravion Alfred, this is one of the guys who they would charge with Trey B's murder, and also Darren Adams would be charged with Trey B's murder. They were both a part of the Block Boys. So guys, the murder actually happened on March 3rd because it would fall into the next day as it was early morning hours. And guys, Trey B family would go on to say no one was never convicted for his murder. The two guys we just showed you would go on and beat the murder of Trey B, better known as Chelsea Broadway, to his family. And here's why. So guys, Trey B and some friends were invited to a kickback, occupied by nothing but trap boys and hot boys by some females. Now guys, we're pretty sure you remember, they say Trey B was squatting down, shooting dice, and was shot in the back of the head. But the news never reported how Trey B jumped up and started firing shots back. Now guys, after a thorough investigation and autopsy report, Trey B was shot in the back of the head, standing up, and he was also shot in the back of his leg. So therefore, the two suspects could have been there, but Trey B was shot from behind. So therefore, there were shots being fired from outside of the house, and shots were getting fired back from inside of the house. Guys, the criminal investigation kind of explains it all. Now guys, it's 2021, and Trey B's case have not been solved. Guys, it's kind of written off as an accidental murder, and we're done with that right there. Rest in peace to Trey B. Shreveport Police Department arrested two guys and charged them with murder, and they beat it. So, with that being said, the Trap Boys have some explaining to do. And also, Rex City News, family, hit that subscribe button and that bell.